4.2 billion years ago, the earliest life appears, possibly as protocells. Their genetic material was probably composed of RNA, capable of self-replication. Around 3.9 billion years ago, prokaryotic cells appears. They are simple, single-celled organisms that lack a true nucleus and membrane-bound organelles, typically represented by bacteria and archaea. Approximately 3.5 billion years ago, cyanobacteria, photosynthetic microorganisms, also known as blue-green algae, evolved on Earth and played a critical role in oxygenating the planet through photosynthesis. The first organisms to use oxygen were early cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae, which emerged around 2.4 billion years ago during the Great Oxygenation Event. The origin of eukaryotes, complex cells with distinct nuclei and organelles, dates back approximately 2 billion years ago, marking a crucial evolutionary development in the history of life on Earth. The evolution of sexual reproduction, characterized by the fusion of gametes and genetic recombination, occurred around 1.2 billion years ago, introducing a key mechanism for genetic diversity and evolutionary innovation. Holozoa, a taxonomic group that includes animals and their closest single-celled relatives, emerged in evolution around 1 billion years ago, marking a crucial stage in the development of complex multicellular life forms. Hermetozoan, the common ancestor of all animals, emerged in evolution approximately 700 million years ago, representing a fundamental milestone in the evolution of multicellular organisms with specialized cell types. The Herbilitarian, an evolutionary ancestor with bilateral symmetry and a distinct front and back axis, appeared approximately 650 to 600 million years ago, laying the foundation for diverse animal body plans. The Ediacaran Cambrian explosion, occurring around 570 million years ago, marked a pivotal period in Earth's history characterized by the rapid diversification of multicellular life forms, leading to the emergence of various complex and diverse animal species. Obligate aerobes, organisms that require oxygen for their survival and metabolism, evolved approximately 540 million years ago, coinciding with a period of increased atmospheric oxygen levels during the Cambrian explosion. The first vertebrates, early fish-like creatures with a rudimentary spine, evolved around 500 million years ago, representing a significant milestone in the history of animal life on Earth. Placodermy, a diverse group of armored fish characterized by their bony plates, evolved around 450 million years ago during the Silurian and Devonian periods, contributing to the aquatic biodiversity of the time. Bony fish, characterized by the development of true bone in their skeletons, underwent evolution around 420 million years ago, representing a key transition in the aquatic diversity of vertebrates during the Silurian period. Some freshwater lobe-finned fish develop limbs and give rise to the tetrapodomorpha. These fish evolved in shallow and swampy freshwater habitats, where they evolved large eyes and spiracles. Chictalic, an ancient fish-like tetrapod with limb-like fins, emerged in evolution around 360 million years ago, representing a key transitional form between aquatic and terrestrial vertebrates. Ichthyostega, a primitive amphibian in one of the earliest tetrapods, evolved around 360 million years ago, providing insights into the transition from aquatic to terrestrial life forms during the late Devonian period. Pederpes, an early tetrapod from the late Devonian period approximately 350 million years ago, played a role in the evolutionary transition of vertebrates from water to land, showcasing adaptations for both environments. Hylonymus, dating back to 315 million years ago, holds the distinction of being the earliest known reptile, representing a pivotal point in the evolutionary history of vertebrates. Shortly after the appearance of the first reptiles, two branches split off. One branch is the Sauropsida, from which come the modern reptiles and birds. The other branch is Synapsida, from which come modern mammals. The earliest mammal-like reptiles are the Pelicosaurs. The first mammals evolved from Eucynodontia 200 million years ago, a group of Synapsids, marking a significant step in the lineage leading to modern mammals. The evolution of live birth, or viviparity, occurred approximately 150 million years ago, representing a reproductive adaptation in certain vertebrates where offspring develop within the mother's body before birth. 95 million years ago, the evolution of last common ancestor of rodents, rabbits, ungulates, carnivorans, bats, shrews, and humans. 
Euarchonta, a diverse group of mammals that includes primates, tree shrews, and colugos, underwent evolutionary developments approximately 80 million years ago. 60 million years ago, primates underwent a divergence into two suborders, Strepsirrhini, characterized by wet noses, and Haparini, distinguished by dry noses. Simians, a subgroup of primates including monkeys and apes, underwent evolutionary developments approximately 40 million years ago. Caterini, a parvator of primates comprising Old World monkeys and apes, experienced evolutionary changes around 30 million years ago. Hominidae, the family of great apes and humans, began evolving around 20 million years ago. Hominini, a subfamily of hominids including the tribe Hominini, underwent evolutionary developments around 15 million years ago. Danuvius gudimosi, an extinct ape species, emerged in evolution approximately 12 million years ago, providing insights into the locomotion and behavior of early hominoids. The clade currently represented by humans and the genus Pan, chimpanzees and bonobos, splits from the ancestors of the gorillas between 12 to 8 million years ago. Hominini, a tribe within the subfamily Hominini, experienced evolutionary changes around 7 million years ago, marking the divergence of the human lineage from other great apes. Artipithecus, an early hominid genus, emerged in evolution around 5 million years ago, providing valuable insights into the early stages of human evolution and bipedal locomotion. A member of Australopithecus afarensis, an extinct hominid species, existed in evolution around 4 million years ago, with the famous fossil Lucy being one of its notable representatives. Kinianthropus platyops is believed to have lived around 3.5 million years ago. A possible ancestor of Homo emerges from the Australopithecus. The bipedal Australopithecines evolved in the savannas of Africa around 3 million years ago. Loss of body hair occurred, in parallel with the development of full bipedalism and slight enlargement of the brain. Early Homo, the genus that includes early human species, appeared in East Africa in evolution around 2.5 to 2 million years ago from Australopithecine ancestors. Homo erectus, an extinct hominin species, evolved from early Homo around 1.5 million years ago. Homo erectus is the first known species to develop control of fire. The evolution of dark skin, likely an adaptation to increased sunlight exposure, occurred around 1.2 million years ago. Homo erectus later migrates throughout Eurasia, reaching Southeast Asia by 700,000 years ago. The evolution of early Homo sapiens from Homo erectus occurred around 300,000 years ago, and during their migration and interaction with other hominins, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans, instances of interbreeding occurred, leaving genetic traces in the Homo sapiens genome, particularly outside Africa. The evolution of modern Homo sapiens from early Homo sapiens involved a gradual process spanning roughly the last 200,000 to 300,000 years, during which various hominin populations and lineages contributed to the genetic diversity of our species.